There are two ways to navigate inside ZBrush. The first is to just click on the canvas. Anywhere off your model will do. It doesn't really matter if you're inside or outside. If you do that, you'll be rotating around your model. Holding down Alt will allow you to pan. So I'm holding down Alt and I'm clicking on my tablet and that will pan left and right and up and down. The last version is to hold down Alt, click and then let go of Alt. While the click is still held down, you can press up or down or left or right and that will zoom in or out. Not everybody likes this method, the last one particularly, um, the zoom method is, is quite uh, difficult for a lot of people to do. This is not a scale operation, you are not scaling your object, you're literally zooming your camera in or out. Um, so an alternative is the right click method. If you have your Wacom tablet set up correctly, as shown here, right click set to the last button on your pen, then you can just right click hovering over your tablet, you don't even have to click on it, right click over it and that will rotate around your object. Holding down Alt and click and right clicking over your tablet will pan. And for the last one, if you hold down Control and right click, you'll zoom in or out. One of the reasons that a lot of people don't use this is that if you right click and you don't either rotate, if you don't move the mouse after right clicking, you'll get this pop up, which sometimes you'll want and sometimes you won't. If you use the right click method for navigating, you'll find it popping up and being more annoying than not. So if you go to your preferences under interface, navigation, you'll see that there's enable right click pop up and you can turn this off and that will stop that from happening. So the next time you can right click in peace without worrying about that coming up. Um, please do click and subscribe if you find these tips useful. See you later. Bye.